Have you ever learned a little tweak to a drill that completely transforms the way that your players play? That's what this is for off-ball offense and defense. What's going on everybody? I'm Patrick from Powlax where we create confident coaches because confident coaches create great environments for players. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the two things that I took from Joe Spolina's 2022 USA Lacrosse presentation. Now, before we get into any of this, if you would like to check out Joe's presentation, you can do that at the USA Lacrosse website in the e-learning section. Now, his 2022 video isn't up yet for some reason, and he did the same general concepts in his 2019 one now it's in the women's section and it's filmed in the box but so all of the theories are essentially the same and the things that i am going to be explaining are essentially the same but i highly recommend you go and you hear it from him because there are so many little tidbits that he adds to it that the hour or two hours you spend watching the videos are going to be very beneficial to your coaching as they were for mine now also, before we get started, this video is brought to you by all of the Powlax members because your generous contributions are how I create all these videos and why all of these videos remain free to watch anytime, anywhere. Now, if you become a member for $5 a month in the silver section, you also get all of the playbook PDFs that join all of these offensive, defensive sets, man ups, man's downs, drills, shooting drills, dodging drills, passing drills, all of the technique videos that were filmed in my backyard. All of those have their own playbook PDFs that if you become a member, you can print out, put in your playbook, and you can have them forever. So let's get right into the video. Now, the first thing I want to discuss are the three reasons why I feel that this way of running 2v1s, 3v2s, and 4v3s are better than the other ways that I was running them as it pertains to how you want to play off ball in your settled offensive sets once an advantage is gained. Now, the first is the tempo. The tempo is extremely fast. You'll see that as one group is finishing, the second group is starting, and they're going to have to get out of the other player's way rather quickly, and it's going to create a bit of chaos. The second thing is that the players are not going to know where the ball is going to start from or which other offensive players are going to be in the drill helping. Now, this is really tough on the defense because they're going to have to find the ball and then find the other players really quickly. And then on the offensive end, they're not going to know where their help is going to come from. So they're going to have to communicate and then throw really efficient passes. And they're not going to have to think much because it is a you know, very fast paced drill where the drills are going to last five seconds, seven seconds, maybe eight seconds tops, but you're going to get a lot of reps in really quick time. Now, the third thing that sets this way of running the drills apart is because the coach is going to be yelling out numbers that are associated with the lines, you're going to be able to manipulate how many offensive players go into the drill. So let's say you're running the 3v2 version you're able to yell just one number and then it creates a 2v1 for the defense where they can learn how to double. You can also yell two numbers, which is going to create a two on two, which maybe if it's a two on two, you start to run any of your two man game principles. And then if you yell three, you're doing just the traditional three on two where now you're trying to draw and dump and have a one on O with the goalie. Now we're going to head into lacrosse lab to learn the setup of the drills and watch some of the digital representations within the Palax digital playbook. Then we're going to go into score break to watch some of the live footage of our team running this drill this season so as we head into lacrosse lab first we're going to go to drills then we're going to go to competition drills sea wolves drills because coach Bellina is the head women's coach at stony brook and then we're going to go to the four corner sea wolves 2v1s now if you would like to get access to the Palax Digital Playbook so you can look around and see the representations of the majority of the Palax videos in this digital format, you can get that in one of two ways. First, you can just take the Palax Digital Playbook as itself. That's 60 bucks per year, and you can find that at palax.com slash pdp. Then, if you'd like to be able to share all of these plays with your teams, you can get that as a part of the Palax Gold membership, and that one's $25 per month. Now, if you do that one, you do have to have a Lacrosse Lab account as well, but I can save you 10% off your first three months by using code Palax through Lacrosse Lab, and that'll just save you a little bit of money there as well. Now let's head right into the drill. So the first thing that we're going to cover is the basic setup. We're essentially going to have as many lines for offensive and defensive players as we want. Now you can mix and match this. You'll see in the videos, we're not in a box, we're in a diamond. You can reposition them. The key is the tempo based on how the coach calls the numbers as well as the spacing. And it should reflect 
some aspect of your offense. If you like to dodge the alleys, maybe you just run three players from the left wing, top center, and right wing. But it's really up to you, and we're just going to be covering the different variations in the four-corner version. So for the four-corner version, we're going to start with one defensive line because one defenseman is going to go into the drill each time. Now, a big key to this is wherever you put that line, you have to make sure that the defenseman has the ability to play the offensive player and any of the lines right away. So it's not just them walking in and cranking if the defenseman is paying attention. Now, if the defenseman is not paying attention and they just run in and shoot, that's totally fine. The offense is allowed to take whatever shot. They're not playing for the passes. They're playing for the good shots on goal and, and the finishing ability. So it's not about creating passes. It's about scoring goals. Now, the offensive lines are all numbered. One is top left, two is top right, three is back right, and four is back left. Now, you can number them however you want. Mixing up the numbers is good. The players are going to ask you, hey, what are the numbers for each one? And the defensemen are going to want to know the numbers too, so they're going to know where the ball is coming from as they hear you, which is a great thing. You're training the offensive and defensive ability to listen and understand, which is great. Now, in the offensive lines... All of the offensive players have balls. And the way the drill is going to start and continue to run is that the coach is going to yell two numbers that are associated with those lines. And the first player from those lines are going to enter the drill. If you're in the line with the first number, you're going to keep your ball. If you're in the line with the second number, you're going to drop your ball and then come in to support the ball carrier. Now, as this plays, this was a 1-2. So 1 keeps the ball, 2 does not. The defenseman goes to play 10, he ends up throwing it to 1, and then they go in and score. Now, right as the ball is shot, the next one goes. This is a 4-1, so this is line 4, this is line 1, and the next one's 2-3, and it runs really, really quick. In a 2v1 version, you're literally going to be saying it kind of like this. 1-2, 4-3, 3-5, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 
The setup for the three on two version is essentially the same. We're just adding another defensive line. Now this is the format that we used the majority of the time as we as we ran this as a function of our practice essentially every day. We ran this basically every day and it helped us tremendously in terms of how we were able to effectively finish within the concept of our offense. Now we ran a variation of the 21-12 offense if you want to check out that video. Um, there's actually a new like eight minute long quick video if you haven't seen that one i highly recommend it we've got a bunch of um, highlights of live play which weren't in the original video but so i highly recommend watching that as well now in our three on two set the main difference from a coaching perspective is that now we're going to yell three numbers instead so you're going to yell things like one two four that's our first one and so i think in this set it's yep it's um Line one, line two, line three, line four. So 10, one, and seven are going to enter the drill. And then defensively, one and four are going to enter the drill. And so we will just run it and you'll kind of see how quickly everything happens. Now, another key to the drill as a whole is recognizing that the first player in line is going to need to have their stick kind of out to the side of them. And they're going to have to either, if they're the first line, they're going to run and they're going to play. If they're not, they're going to kind of toss it back to the players behind them. Now, if you're in a gym or something, which we'll see a bit later, that can be a bit tough because the tennis balls or the real balls in say like a, a hockey roller rink or wherever, if the balls are going to move a bunch, you really need to make sure that the players in the back of the lines are taking that ball that the player who entered the drill without their ball, um, you know, you just got to make sure that we don't have a bunch of balls rolling in the middle of the drill. Now let's head back into score break and we will go to our 3v2 version. So this is the same day. This is just a little bit later. And now you'll notice that the defense is right in on X and we're playing in a three on two version. Now, in this drill, if the offense tries to make more passes than the number of defensemen, that's a defensive win. Because if they can force at least more passes than there are people, it means that they had time to recover and they got in. Offensively, we want to play a lot faster than that. We're actually going pretty slow here in terms of how quickly we're running through the drill. Um, that one was a 3-2-1. And... As you're in coaching, one of the keys is we can run a lot of different versions over and over and over again that simulate our offense. So let's say we're in this portion of the drill and we want to simulate our righty alley dodge, throw back to top center and then throw back to our righty wing because we have a lot of righties. We are going to run 4-1-2 a lot and that's going to have a player step in on this left wing throw up top to the top center player and then throw back to the side right. Now that's just going to put the players in the same positions attacking the goal after they would draw a slide in that righty alley dodge type of um, offensive series. But So we'll just continue to run it, obviously using fakes, curling the crease. If there's ever a player at X, they have to make sure they get above GLE because if they're not a threat, we are losing our advantage. You'll notice it's really quick. We get a lot of great finishing opportunities. And now as you think of the speed that this drill runs in terms of how quickly the players are reacting within it, that's the main key. They are essentially thrown into a specific position, whether they have the ball or do not have the ball, where they have to then attack the space around the goal, become dangerous, catch a pass, and finish. And it's exactly the same as it is within the confines of our offense after drawing a slide and then having players move the ball and make sure that they are effectively moving and then you know playing in space. Now, you'll notice that this player here ends up cutting all the way through the middle. Right now, as he cuts through the middle, he essentially eliminates his danger because this pass through the defenseman is a really tough pass to make. If he just sits in space here, he has the ability to catch the ball and then take his shot. But those are the little decisions where we are putting them in those positions that they will be in in the game, giving them live reps where they're going to have to read and react quickly and efficiently within this drill that they are then going to see in the games. Now, that's why this drill is so valuable, and that's how we ended up playing so quickly as we as we played through this year. We had our very first home playoff game ever. We had our first playoff win ever. And it was absolutely incredible to see just how that off-ball development helped our program significantly. Now we're going to head back into Lacrosse Lab where we are going to cover the four on three version now main difference with the four on three version is that we are not saying three 
numbers. Now we're just saying one because there's only one line that's going to have the ball, but all of the players are going to enter the drill. Now, same idea. This is a three. The key to this drill in the four on three is that in no way will we then be setting up a four on three drill where they're in their corners and they're trying to look for skips and we're essentially playing out a four on three where they're standing in space. We're trying to attack the goal where every player should only ever hold the ball one time, right? The one player with the ball needs to draw a defenseman, move the ball effectively enough where we can then have a shot in three passes or under. Now let's head back into score break and we will watch that video. Now this was the day that we were in the gym. Highly value this drill in the gym. It's fast paced. It's up tempo. The kids love it. We're also using tennis balls so we don't destroy the bleachers and so we don't kill our goalie in a place that's kind of tough to see the ball. Um, our lines are kind of off to this right side over here. Then we have another line on this left side here and then back right and back left. The goal is now facing us and we've got two defensive lines coming through here. So now as we play it, same basic idea. We're using one letter. We are trying to score quickly and efficiently. This player has a pretty good shot, so we just decided to take his step down. Um, there's no reason to have different types of reads in the gym, right? If you can shoot the ball quickly and effectively, do it. Right? This is one of our really big shooters, and him taking that step down is a shot that we would probably take in a game. Now, notice how this player, as the ball, I think this was a three, but so as he curls here, nobody plays him. Right? And if no one's going to play you, go in and take your shot. Go score. Like That's the thing. There's no stopping. There's no, you have to draw and dump. There's none of that. It's all just play. If an offensive player deems a situation worthy of a shot, they're going to shoot. Now, if you want to help them work on making better decisions as they move through that drill, awesome. But this is all about their ability to read and react and to feel the success or failure of each rep as many times as possible in the 10 to, you know, 10 minute window, seven minute window, however long you have in practice to run this drill. We want to give them as many chances as possible to just rep it, rep it, rep it, rep it, rep it. Um, another thing you can train here is in terms of which direction is the defense playing you, right? Did you draw from your left or did you draw from your right? And as you draw, are you throwing past the defenseman or are you throwing to someone who is going to be covered because they're not in that defensive rotation at all? Now, the final thing we're going to show you is how we can manipulate this to create some two-on-twos, some defensive two-on-ones. So if we are in the three-on-two series of the drill where we're calling out three numbers, we have the ability to create different situations by calling just one number or calling two numbers. If we call one, it creates a double situation for the defense that they need to view, figure out, and then go double the ball. If we call out two numbers, now we're in a two-on-two -two series, and that's what you will see here. So as they start to play, you'll notice that we will have these two players heading in, and now they're in a two-on-two, -two, right? Now he just curls to the top of the key, has a great shot, and scores. The second one is a little bit better in terms of how you see them play. Now, he recognizes that, hey, we're in a two-on-two -two now. They run their picking, and now... They try to get in and they do score, but the key is once you start throwing in opposite numbers where you're throwing in one or two and or three in those series, now they have to think through what's the situation. Are we even? Are we up a man? How are we going to play to, you know, figure that out and attack in the best way possible? So that is a presentation of the Sea Wolves drill from Coach Joe Spolina. And once again, I'd like to show you, and you should watch this video if you can, um, on usalacrosse.com. It's called Women's Game CEO Joe Spolina, How to Teach Playing Fast. I highly recommend you watch it from him and you see how many different variations of this he has. And so essentially, he has the ability to create any type of version that he wants. A couple of the other ones he did was a strict two-on-one, a strict 3v2, and he would run the 3v2s in different areas. He would have, uh, like, north side would be the top center, side left, side right. Um, south side would be X, side left, side right. Or the right side would be, you know, east side, where they would go from X, top center, and the right wing. And as they build the drills and they build their ability to finish the plays in different areas it creates you know just the greatest opportunity for players to 
learn how to use space effectively to finish within games. It, it really does make a humongous difference how the drill is run. And t- instead of running drills where, you know, everybody knows the ball's coming in top center and that's where we're going to run it from and that's going to create the same situation each time that they're going to rep out, which doesn't allow them to read a situation. They just know they're in that situation. But so... Hope you guys enjoyed this presentation of the Seawolves drill. Definitely let me know your thoughts on this drill down in the comments section. What are your initial thoughts? If you decide to run it with your team, definitely come back to this video and let us know how it went. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you want to be notified when we come out with brand new videos. Follow Palax on social media. The main ones that I use are TikTok and Instagram, and then I think those are now hitting Facebook a little bit more now as well. Also, check out palax.com. Share this video if you found it valuable and you think someone else will find it valuable. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.